Hi, Dick and Chad. I'm sure the two of you have seen dozens, if not hundreds, of these so-called atomic clocks. The problem I have with them is that they never seem to sync with the WWVB radio signal, so I have to set them manually. I probably have too many RF noise generating gadgets in my house. I was looking for an app to make an old tablet into a similar kind of clock that would use its GPS or the internet for its time source, but I couldn't find one. I found this app instead. This app is called Clockwave and it uses the speaker of your iOS device to generate the 60 kilohertz signal that a radio controlled clock needs to synchronize from. So if I set it next to the clock and hit transmit, it starts generating the signal. You can see from this icon here that it's now receiving the signal. Looking at the Wikipedia page for WWVB, I learned that the WWVB signal is 1 bit per second, 60 bit long code, that contains minutes, hours, day of year, and also a marker that signals the start of each minute, among other things. The clock needs to receive the signal uninterrupted from the start of one minute until the start of the next minute to synchronize. When we see the beginning of the next minute come around on my phone, we should see the clock synchronize. And here it comes. Oh, it failed me. Let's see if it does it this time. There we go. I paid a dollar ninety nine for this app. I thought for sure it was bogus and I would have to ask for a refund. I'm totally, utterly dumbfounded that it actually worked. I set up this communication service monitor to receive the 60 kilohertz signal and used a coil of wire for an antenna. You can see and hear the signal now. I hope you enjoyed my video.